Good morning. Today we're going to go over how to do lead generation. Now, this is the best tactic that I found for 2024, so follow along. We're going to go to outscraper.com. Once you're at Outscraper, go to services and then Google Maps Scraper. Once you've logged in, go ahead and go to business and POI and go to Google Maps Data Scraper. Now in here is where we're gonna start scraping data for your list. Go ahead and hit your desired niche. Then we're gonna go down here and decide what state we're gonna be in. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and type in Florida. Let's hit use zip codes. What this is gonna do is it's gonna actually show you the zip code as a form inside of the Excel document, which is great. Then go down here. If we leave this at zero, what's gonna happen is when we click get data, it's gonna show that it will be 38,000 queries that it's going to pull. Now, this is way too many obviously for a list that you're trying to procure. So we're gonna go ahead and reduce that down to probably a thousand for this one. Change that to a thousand. <clears throat> now in here, this is called enrich results with other services, i.e. email addresses, social media, and more phones, legal names, all that. So what I like to do on this one, if you're doing any type of email campaign, you wanna make sure you do the emails and contact scraper. Now I'm gonna be doing cold calling with this list. So I'm getting phone number enricher. When you scroll down, you'll see it right here, phone number enricher. Now what this does is this makes sure that each phone number that you get for the business, it can determine where and what carrier it's using. So for example, when we click this, it will add a certain price per each contact that you're grabbing. But the fact that we're able to sort by mobile is very helpful because when you're cold calling a business, you wanna make sure that you're not speaking to any gatekeepers. If you're talking to anybody like the accountant, if it's a landline, you're most likely gonna run into somebody else handling the phones. But for these small businesses, especially with my HVAC contractors, we're gonna definitely want mobile phone numbers. That way we can make sure that we're talking to the owner of the company and the decision maker, therefore bypassing gatekeepers altogether. I'm a business owner. I wear dope suits. I have fur underwear. Down here, it depends what zip code it is. So if you want maybe, let's say we want 10 per each zip code. Go ahead and hit get data. Now this is gonna take a little bit for it to actually download the list because it is out there scraping right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit task list and it will show all the ones that I've already pulled. Now after 45 days, it does have them expire, but I'll go into one that I've got right here. You just go ahead and click it and you're able to save it instantly as an Excel file. Same with this one, we'll just save it right here. Okay, now I have both of these lists open and what you can go ahead and do is widen these out a little bit so you're able to see what you're looking at for example here are all the names of each hvac company here's the location of the hvac company here is their website so let's say we wanted to see if they had a website right let's say we're trying to sell websites we're just going to go ahead and click this sort z to a <clears throat> and then scroll down. And now from here to here, we now have all of these companies do not have websites. So you could create, create this list now with all these different companies and take their phone numbers right here. Take their phone number, their company name, and their location. And then what you can do is you can pass this list to your cold caller or do the cold calls yourself and try to sell websites. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take the name, phone number, and no site. And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna go ahead and include the address and bring it over to a new Excel document. Name, address, phone number. You can go ahead and clean up your data any way you want. All right, guys, and it's really that simple. We have a complete list here, over 
150 different HVAC companies that do not have websites in the Florida area. We have their phone numbers, we have their addresses, we have their names, we have what services they give, and there's a bunch of different data you can add on top of that if you want. If you'd like to do any type of email marketing, you can go ahead and add that on at the end. And once this list is complete like this, I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to my cold caller and he's gonna start making calls for me and booking clients. Hope you learned something today. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next one.